TV is a series created by a bunch of broke college students to make us look cool in front of our peers. The views expressed on this show do not represent any other colleges and universities that may be mentioned. We do not own rights to any of the music or backdrop photos. We also did not make any sort of revenue in the process of creating this masterpiece. So please, do not sue us because we are poor. College should be the best years of your life. But all too often, we're faced with obstacles on our journey to the promised land. Graduation. Parents and professors don't always have the answers, but regardless of what you're questioning, University Philosophy's got you covered. We traveled far and wide to guide you through this milestone called matriculation. And that's University Philosophy. And that's University Philosophy. And that, my friends, is University Philosophy. Oh, y'all spilling tea! Y'all spilling tea! And, and that's, that's University Philosophy. philosophy. That's University Philosophy. So take notes, you five got your back. Class is now in session. Today on University Philosophy. We don't always go to class, but when we do, there's a code to abide by. That's right, we're talking about classroom etiquette. But before we get into that, what's understood doesn't need to be explained. Let's discuss the unspoken rules of social media. I think social media is the devil. It's meant for you to record and take pictures of yourself all day, every day. Well, I guess for starters, some unspoken words for social media is to quit being so goddamn thirsty all the time. Oh my God. Imagine walking up to somebody and telling them you like them every day for like a month straight. That's what it looked like when you like somebody's pictures all week long. I'm a grown man. I'm not trying to double tap your status so I can slide. That's too much. It's foolish. I just don't like the childish social network games like MySpace. We don't use MySpace for a reason. If you wanted to do that, you should get a profile and put some music on. I've seen people like uh, post like scantily clad pictures of them like on the beach or that's cool. But it's like when you're just like in bed, like with nothing on, that's just a basic thirst trap right there. And then you got the shorties. They do this pose. This is their favorite pose. This. And they. <laughs> you're supposed to post your pictures when you know a lot of people is online. So you're not going to post a picture at like 2 o'clock in the morning because you're not going to get but like 39 likes. And then you, you gotta post it about like nine o'clock, people out of class, they done bored, they loving hip hop just went off, post it around nine o'clock. You gonna get like 300 likes. With the different Instagram pages of like bundles of hair, I do not care. Don't tag me in and tell me to follow you. I don't need hair. Maybe, I don't know. I don't need to be on fleek, none of that. I'm cool with the way I am, you see, you see what I'm saying? When it comes to like taking pictures like with your boyfriends, I feel like girls really be fiending to like take a picture with a man, but if you're gonna take a picture with your man, make sure like he's paying attention to the picture or he's looking at it because you look like a fiend if he's sitting over there watching TV and you're sitting there and you're like, yeah, with the bae, no, he doesn't even care to take a picture. Do not DM my boyfriend two, three o'clock in the morning, talking about some hey or the little love heart emoji eyes. That's the quickest way you're gonna get that ass tapped. Another unspoken social media rule is is people trying to equate their self-worth and likes and other, and retweets and favorites, you know, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And that is just, I think, it's just so shallow. Then again, some people just, just been stuck in the 100s for like five years since they opened, <laughs> since they opened Twitter. How are you gonna be open Twitter from 2010? You still got 100 fault. Come on, man. Come on, man. You gotta do better, man. I mean, hey. Do not post a whole bunch of pictures on the same day. First of all, it makes you look like you have no life and you're really not having that much fun if you're thinking about, oh wait, let me stop and take a picture. If I tweet something, you don't always have to say something about what I just tweeted. Like, keep your comment to yourself. This is my profile. I'm tweeting what I want to tweet. If I'm getting ready to say, oh, I'm getting ready to go to Red Lobster and go pick out, don't put the little heart, I mean, like the little eye emojis and be like, ooh, where you going? I just said where I'm going. You're not coming with me. None of you going to pay for my meal. I don't like that. We'll be right back on University Philosophy. Oh, 
Actually, that's kind of funny. I did use the purple evil face one time, and I could give you the story behind that. Well, there's this one guy that I used to talk to, and he is a Q. And, you know, they're like, you know, purple's their color. So that was his sign for everything. Like, I mean, I only used the purple devil sign for him. And I, he probably, he took it a little offensive at first, but me, I could care less. You know, that's my phone. So, yeah, I use the purple devil face for him. But I don't use the devil that often. You know, I'm not a devil-y chick. So I, I try to keep the devil away from my phone in all ways. On Valentine's Day every year, someone's sister or daughter dreams of the perfect date with the perfect guy. She spends hours in the mirror finding the perfect shade of lipstick and parading around in her sexiest heels. but only to be rejected by someone who refuses to give her the title she deserves. No one deserves second place. Take the step forward for your dignity. In Side Chick Acceptance. Hi, this is David Banner, giving a shout out to University Philosophy. All right, guys, break's over. What were we talking about again? The unspoken rules of social media. Let's get back into the lecture. People keep telling you or coming up to you saying, you do it too much, oh my gosh, you're just so obsessed, like, duh, I'm doing it because that's the purpose for it. If you don't want to watch me, then just don't follow me. Just Get me out of there. I'm sorry for anybody that sends emojis <laughs> or good morning posts. I don't hate you as a person. It's just the things you do. Don't uh, follow your family. That is your first and last mistake. They will tell all your business. They will tell all your girlfriends. All your smoking pics will definitely be at the family reunion. If you have something to say towards me or towards anybody on social media, say it towards them. Them. Don't sub sweet party promoters. Make sure when you promoting your party, it's a lot of people on Twitter at the time so that you could get it out that one good time and then wait till tomorrow. I do not care about your mixtape. I don't want to hear it. Oh, your bars, nothing that you're saying. I don't need it like the 30 mentions a day. Stop following me. Tell your friends to stop following me. I don't know if it's like a underground rapper society out there that likes to follow you randomly. We don't need you atting us or mentioning us, telling us about your party with the pictures. Like, we know it's gonna be lit. We might go, but every day, like all day, it's no. I don't really believe what everybody else believes. I feel like if you're annoyed with somebody or anything, just unfollow that person. If you don't want a promoter tagging you, block that person. I personally block people all the time. I really do not like good morning shout outs. I think that is so annoying like maybe one or two but people be doing like 37 good morning shout out don't sit there and say free my or Luki, Poochie, or whoever they can't see the notifications so don't at them in it i don't care that you know they got locked up 30 years ago they ain't gonna be home for a minute so just let it go i don't like those stupid pictures of celebrities with quotes that they did not say the words over the picture will say a real man will stick by his woman through any situation. <laughs> and no matter what, that's what a real man does, not a baby boy. And I'm supposed to be like, oh my God, Tyree said that. And at, at night, they like to tweet they like to tweet you like, hey, yo, listen to my mixtape. And that's another thing. I could be talking about money, and they just like, yo, I like money too. Listen to my mixtape, because I'm talking about money in my mixtape. You feel me, son, son? That's how we do it, son, son. Do not, do not, do not send nudies through social media. Just don't do it. I try to, you know, be as like classy as I can on social media because, you know, employers look at that. That's how you're viewed and stuff by the general population. It's like just random. You don't know what one Reverend Joe asking you about last night's party. It's not going to be cool. All right, philosophers, it's time to begin a new lesson. 
But before we move on, let's wrap up what we've learned so far. First things first, steer clear of social media games. We don't use MySpace for a reason. If you wanted to do that, you should get a profile and put some music on it. Number two, give the phone a rest every once in a while. You're really not having that much fun if you're thinking about, oh wait, let me stop and take a picture. Number three, be mindful of OPP. Do not DM my boyfriend 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. That's the quickest way you're going to get that ass tapped. Number four, remember, who you follow is a choice. If you don't want to watch me, then just don't follow me. Just get me out of there. It's not that hard to click the little button so you can uncheck me and you will never have to see my face again. Stay tuned. University Philosophy has more to come. You already know who it is. It's your boy Guardy Swainby here at North Carolina a t Just want to give a big shout out to University Philosophy. I'm Peter. I'm a sophomore at Towson University, and you're watching University Philosophy. Peace. This is Mark Lamont Hill. Make sure you watch University Philosophy right here. All right, guys, break's over. Let's get back into the lecture. This might not be class etiquette to y'all, but it is to me. I don't have classroom etiquette. I know we all heard since we was in high school, never speak over anybody. But when the teacher is talking and I'm trying to hear what the teacher is saying, I don't need to hear your conversation of, oh, does my hair look good? No, it looks bad. Like, let me listen to what the teacher has to say. One thing that drives me crazy is when there are students in the back, because I usually sit in the front, but there are students in the back who think they can talk throughout the entire lecture. And the professor has to constantly stop just to, you know, tell them to shut up. You don't have to necessarily sit in front of class. You can sit anywhere. It doesn't matter about your seat as long as wherever you're sitting, you're able to grasp what's being given by the professor. If you know I sit somewhere every day, I should not come into the classroom and see you in my seat because, like, I sit there every day. As soon as you get instructions, just do it. Just listen. That's all you have to do is just listen. I like when people ask questions that I personally don't want to ask because sometimes, like, you don't always feel comfortable to always raise your hand because everybody's looking at you. But you don't want to be that person that's always asking a question. Like, shut up. You don't have to kiss the professor's ass, like raising your hand every five seconds or repeat after them, the ex like the excessive naughty. That, that stuff is not necessary. Non-traditional students typically just, they're like ultra super teacher's pets and it's kind of annoying. We don't need to raise our hand. We're in college, like just speak. You all like, like we don't, we don't need to do that. I really can't stand like, goody two shoes type of students like always raising a hand always want to ask questions like yo sometimes just chill don't act like you know everything when you don't when like it's four or five minutes left in class and the students decide that it's time to pack up while the professor is still teaching like one that's really disrespectful the fact that this person is just giving their time of day to teach you what you need to know to get better you know to have a better future the teacher talks about nothing the entire class period. Like, you had nothing planned for us to do. You're talking about a book that we read for homework. Obviously, we already know. Like, you're just talking about nothing. That That's really annoying. Let me go home. Why am I here? I mean, this is college, so, you know, you're literally, like, uh, flushing money down the toilet. Don't move. University Philosophy will be right back. If you was at rec room last night, no class. If it's 95 degrees outside during the first week of fall semester, no freaking class. Homecoming week, no class. If you wear a bonnet or your pajamas to class or to the store. Or anywhere. Or anywhere besides your house, other than your house, no, no class. class. If your financial aid didn't go through and your classes get dropped, no class. If you're a freshman in the canteen all day, you have no class, and you need to get your life together and go to class. I know sometimes those are my fault, 
But when there's no one to teach, how can you be taught? Wishing for whatever's missing to reach me So then I can help the fam eat, see Cause mom and pop made it easy I'm just afraid they won't last when they need me Or the fact that they live lives made for TV But I left untold, believe me But see, that's only the beginning of this dialogue Cause with this music, I'm about it like a blog Having days where I'm feeling lost Not in terms of direction, but with the cause Steady And we're back on University Philosophy. What were we talking about again? Classroom etiquette. Let's get back into the lecture. I hate that girl or that boy who always comes to class and always needs a pen or a pencil. Like, girl, where's your supplies? Like, Really, really loud girl who always wants to argue with the teacher. And like she, she's always wrong, but she chooses to argue. She's like, uh, Professor, I didn't turn in my chapter five assignments, so can I turn in next week? And the Professor says no, and then she starts just wilding in the middle of class. Like this is Tom through seven. Can you chill? I hate it when people chew their gum obsessively. Like you're chewing like a cow. You keep... And because. Um... And that one kid who always asks for gum. That's me, but. <laughs> <laughs> Try to be on time. I've seen too many times with people like coming 30 minutes late for a 50 minute class. <laughs> why? Come on, why even bother coming in at that point? Look, man, I'm late unless the class that I have next is next door. And I'm still probably going to be like 35 seconds late because I'm going to go to the bathroom. One thing I hate is when you come in late, I mean, you come in late looking like a bum, like you just rolled in with your pajama pants or whatnot. But you got a Gucci belt on with polo pajama pants on the floor. The number one thing that everyone should abide by in class is to take a shower. Geez, I mean, like we're in college, right? So you think that'd just be common sense, but apparently it isn't. You're 18, so now that you're, now that you're a grown adult, you get grown man stink, okay? You can't get away with that anymore. We as humans need to make sure that we eat before we go to class because the worst thing in the world is when your stomach is growling in class, first of all, it's embarrassing. It happens to me all the time. Like, the classroom is quiet and your stomach just start making crazy noises. Sometimes you be trying to play it off and like cough and move things in your bag, but it's just, it's just not good. And please, my God, don't sit next to me if you have bad breath. Like, I don't know what the thing is. We don't brush our tongue anymore. We come from the turn up last night or, no, it could be three o'clock in the afternoon. Hey, did you get the notes from last class? No, you need to go back home and brush your teeth. Like, I hate that. You're gonna melt my face off. I don't know, people go too far with styles in class, so I'm like, please, you don't have to dress like a hoe to get attention in class. I'm just saying, just, just be, you know, just be cordial. Like, I mean, just dress appropriate, you know what I'm saying? Nobody, nobody trying to look at your nipple rings. Ladies, you look fine. Nobody's worried about anything. Um, just focus on your studies. Just because you wear a suit doesn't mean that, you know, you're better than everyone else, or you're gonna be automatically better than everyone else, okay? Wearing a suit just means that you have a suit. If you really want to be better than everyone else, write great papers. Leave the classroom discussion. One more thing. I hate teachers that try to be funny. And we don't care about your story. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Hey, we be in class, and everybody's all quiet, and someone swears they're funny. So they say this asinine joke. That was a big word. Do not take selfies in class. It's just chillax, relax, be cool. Well, philosophers, that's another one in the books. But let's review our notes on classroom etiquette before we end today's lecture. Number one, keep side conversations to a minimum. I don't need to hear your conversation. Let me listen to what the teacher has to say. Number two, it's not that complicated. As soon as you get instructions, just do it. Just listen. That's all you have to do is just listen. Number three, be on time. I've seen too many times with people like come in 30 minutes late for a 50 minute class. <laughs> why? Come on, why even bother coming in at that point? Number four, come prepared. We as humans need to make sure that we eat before we go to class because the worst thing in the world is when your stomach is growling in class, it's just not good. That's all we have for today, students. Be on the lookout for episode two.
Maya, should we give him a sneak peek? I don't know, Cam. Should we give him a sneak peek? So, India, should we give him a sneak peek? Ready, three? Hey, um. Take three. Cam just asked, should we give him a sneak peek? Let's give him a sneak peek. Like, I don't have a preference, <clears throat> so I like you know all skin types. You like all skin types, huh? I got some for you. Okay, y'all ready? Yeah. <clears throat> you are like a psycho. I am not. No. Hey, what are my thoughts on sexting? Finally, I have a topic I can uh, finally sink my teeth into. What? Yo, I'm really reading the teleprompter. Y'all wildin'. My name is Mr. Bitches. <laughs> Yo, like, come on, son. Whatever dream of candy <laughs> if I'm paying for something, I should be able to come whenever I feel like it. I know I'm in college and that's what you're supposed to do and I'm paying for this, but if I get an email saying class is canceled, I'm so hyped. Like, and that's funny, son. That's not corny. That's funny. Calvin, I've heard your jokes. You, Your jokes are trash. Your breath is so hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. It was actually pretty cool. If I'm gonna send you a picture of my butt, I'm gonna send you a picture of my butt. Like, but like if a girl sends me a nude over Snapchat, I'll never screenshot. You know, like screenshots are so unwelcome. Not even gonna, not even gonna go there on your show. University philosophy. Keeping it pimping since 9 3, baby. Sheesh! I'm not feeling this. What? Is it my light? Let me see. Oh, see? Ladies. I'm a big user of the um, emoji with the, like you laughing so hard that you crying. Ways to get on a block list. If you keep texting me, block. If you keep texting me and then you text question marks because I didn't text you back, block. <laughs> I'm just saying that is a reason. Possible reason. If you post me as like your woman crush Wednesday, that's bae. <laughs> You're watching <laughs> University Philosophy.